So there were 60,000 Jews in Saloniki, uh, which is in Greece, uh, on the eve of World War II. Okay? The Jewish community there was vibrant. Uh, most of the dock workers uh, in the dock in Saloniki were, were Jewish. Uh, and the dock in Saloniki was actually closed on the Sabbath because of this. Okay, there were a lot of huge rabbis from there, uh, and and you know some of them uh, were the Rishon LeZion, who's a very famous one. Um, and it, on this community of uh, Jews, the Nazi uh, the Nazi you know atrocity was was just especially horrible. Hitler took over. Uh, Greece by storm, and he took over it in order to uh, to secure his uh, his southern flank as he you know invaded the Soviet Union and uh, the Operation Barbarossa. And out of the sixty thousand Jews in Saloniki, okay, fifty thousand of them were just annihilated in Birkenau. Fifty thousand of them. Um, amongst them walked their their rabbi the rabbi Chaim Chaviv okay the last rabbi of Saloniki and very very few people from Saloniki were actually saved one of the families from Saloniki that was saved was uh, a family called Bula okay and she the family somehow hid and managed to get out and after the war in 1961 the family gave birth uh, to a son Okay, named Bula. His his name was Abraham Bula, or Albert. Uh, and Albert, he grew up and he learned to. Uh, he studied uh, veter in veterinary school. Uh, he took he got his doctorate from uh, in the Aristotle University of Saloniki. And at age thirty four, he moved to the United States. And there, he married a woman, and they had two children. And in America, he uh, actually was integrated in the uh, medical community, and he advanced really quickly, and he joined a small company called Pfizer. Uh, and there, he actually became the head of uh, global vaccinations. And from there to the point where he actually uh, became the CEO of Pfizer in 2019 was a pretty short short road and throughout this last year actually albert bula uh headed up many like the you know a lot of the efforts to develop uh, uh the vaccine that we know today as the pfizer vaccine which is saving millions of lives which will save millions of lives around the world uh which is you know vaccinating millions of people here in israel and which is also uh, being deployed to Germany to vaccinate uh, people there. And uh, this rabbi who wrote this post, uh, Harav Eyal Vered, um, writes that this is the best uh, ner neshama, best neshama candle, right? What you light for, uh, for in the memory of uh, people who passed. So this is the best kind of memory candle we can light for... Uh, for the Jews that died in the Holocaust, because this is really the Jewish light that the, you know, we we are as Jews about life and rather than about death. It's amazing. It's amazing. And if you haven't cried from this, guys, <laughs> this is the follow up from today. Today I read that the CEO of Pfizer, Albert Bula, this is a tweet. Yeah, a Jew from Saloniki, whose most of his family was annihilated in the That's Holocaust. Bula, as we said. Bula organize the distribution in a way that the first place to receive would be Saloniki. In Greece, in Greece would be Saloniki. Um, in a Jewish elderly home that's called Shaul Modiano, the first person to receive the vaccination... In Greece? In Greece was Satsuglo, um, who is Zana Satsulgo, who's a 90-year-old woman that lost her entire family in Auschwitz. That's pretty amazing. Yep. 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 Wow. Wow. We kick ass, man. <laughs> I love taking credit for other Jews' stuff. Be like, I'm a Jew, they a Jew. That's basically like I did it. No, I'm kidding. It's really, uh, really moving stuff.